folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evo Extreme here, and here we are doing something a bit different, and wow, FS25, Farm Sim 25 has been announced, and the cinematic trailer has been dropped by Giant, so, yeah, so much to go into, so much to pretty much dissect into, and yep, I know this is coming out late compared to everyone else, but I spent the time of, one, I just got over from work late today, and two, I thought since this is coming out late, I'll spend a bit of extra time on breaking down the trailer, looking at the trailer frame by frame almost, looking at every single clip and image section of the trailer, and yeah, so much to go into, and as always, time starts to be down below. But first of all, let's have a little look at the cinematic trailer, just as a reference of what we're going to get ourselves into today. Rated E for everyone. the world. Farmers know farming is an art. Like life, we know it can be hard. And it can be surprising, too. But sometimes it's about being at the right place at the right time. This man once said that the best lessons are learned under the wide open sky. I think the same thing can be said about our art. Yeah, it can be messy, but it's always beautiful. So beautiful it can help you see yourself and the world in all new ways. The art of farming, the soil is the canvas, the seeds are the paint, and the harvest is the masterpiece. Hey, this is pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty darn good. Is it missing something? <laughs> You're too cute to eat. Maybe some fresh spinach for a change? So, right, I think first of all, what we'll go into is first of all, the blog post, and then we'll go into the trailer itself and sort of break down the trailer now. And yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I'll have screenshots and that popping up over as I'm talking through. But yeah, first of all, looking at the blog post, and yeah, Farm Sim 25 is coming. Pre order is available now, and it's available everywhere. And at the moment, the cost is, at least for me here in the UK, is £50 for the normal edition and £75 for the year one season bundle, which. We'll have a little look into that, and yeah, that £25 bump in the Year 1 bundle, I do think it's going to be worth it in that. But yeah, going back into the first section of the blog post, it says, Well, flood the fields with fresh water to grow rice, and these new machines creates more depth and more ways than one. While you may have more questions, here will you have your answers for FS25 first. So yeah, announcement has been made, and yeah, November the 12th, which is it's on a Tuesday, funny enough, so makes sense in that. After a long weekend in that, recover on a Monday, and then on Tuesday, play some FS25. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to book a week off, so I can have all the content out I'll be planning on doing when FS25 comes out. But yeah, scrolling down, yeah, you're able to pre-order it on PC, Mac, PlayStation, yeah, PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Xbox. And yet, with PC and that, if you're using order on PC and that, 
Feel free to use my code Farmer and Volume that's when ordering through the Giants website. Doesn't cost you any more, but goes back into the channel a lot. But yeah, so we'll go down and first of all we're gonna look at the I guess again pre-order collection edition and why there isn't a console version for this, uh, to be honest, I don't know. I don't see why it's going to be such different than that, but anyways. So with the FS25 Collector's Edition, you get a collector's box, obviously. Last time we had the little USB light in that, with the beacon light. Now I've got the USB ignition lock, which is responsible to, or sorry, response to in-game vehicles. On top of that, you got the PC game and MacDon pack. So MacDon is a Canadian f brand in that, and so yeah, we get some items for it. And this includes a basically like the Swaffer we've got on FS22, or the Swaffer pack in that, a wind rover in that, and yeah, five different items in that. And yeah, I'm just looking at their page now. Yeah, includes the corn he corn headers and draper headers because. I can't remember who it was recently in that. Tried to bring MacDon onto FS22, got rejected and had to be put as a lizard brand. And now we know why. Because MacDon is coming to FS25. And I think it was Caceres Modern, if I have to say correctly in that. But anyway, so yeah. On top of that, you get a 16-bit retro edition and soundtrack CD by Chris Hoisbuck. Not sure if I pronounced that correct. On top of that, a keychain booster. So, what you can see in the blog post and that, and the image I've got up on above is looks like your crop candor and that. And I've tried zooming in on that, and yeah, it's so vaguely in that. But I'm guessing like your top items are going to be like your Greens and that, you know, winter wheat and that, winter barley and all that. But to be honest, I don't know now. I'm just guessing at the moment. But anyways, on to, from that, you get the modern tutorial version 6.0. Good to see in that. Along with that, 30 brand stickers. So if you're on PC and that, or just you want to order this edition just for as it is and that. Obviously, pre-orders is out at the moment and for me personally at the moment I've tried to pre-order it and it's not available in the UK at the moment. Yes yeah, so it says currently not available in selected countries so I'm not too sure about that. But yeah lastly you get also the New Holland CR11 Gold Edition Combine Harvester that was featured in Agritechnica this year. You want even more? Here we go so we're going to look at now the year one bundle so this includes the obviously FS25 game Along with year one season pass with free context pack and a expansion. So look what we've had with FS22 now. So year one we had the platinum expansion, so that was silver and forest and that. And then year two was the premium expansion with the new root crops and the longka. So Alright, so first of all, for the first quarter of twenty-five, it says in the Tiff Oh if I'm not sure I pronounce that right, in the fifth machinery in that so spots at the moment I've got no and a light bulb in that so if I'm to get some form of very modern very futuristic equipment in that but to be honest I'm not too sure on that that's the one I am least sure on I'm on to my secondly sure one is the second what second quarter of 25 so performance on planes and prairie so this could be hot dog, which I very much doubt, but yeah, again, looking at what it's been teased at, because yeah, with FS22, when we had these screenshots and that, they do tell you a lot about it, uh, or tells you some information about it at least. And uh, yeah, to be honest, again, I'm not too sure. Plains and prairies and that, so I'm guessing this is going to be some form of. Maybe a map in that, which I very much doubt, because that's going to be obviously the fourth core in that. So, if I had to guess, maybe new crop types in that. So, this could be things like bananas in that. More, I don't know to be honest, but maybe coffee in that. Again, I'm not too sure in that. Plains in prairies. Performance in that. So, maybe it's performance something to do with the fields in that. Again, 
I don't know, but this is the first little bit of what we've got, but boy, boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, I'm losing my cord today, and I've got so many informations to go into that, so for a first announcement, of course, so many people, well, I'll say so many people, some people are disappointed in that, some people are already dismissing and prejudging FS25 before it even come out, before even the cinematic trailers drop, because we months that. Moving on to the third quarter of 25, all of the stars has been aligned. And when you look at that photo, it looks like, you know, a tractor wheel net ground is some form of terraforming or deforming in that. Yeah, that's going to be one thing we're going to go into later on because ground deformations is going to be a thing on FS22 and when we go back up to literally the first picture in that, it says basically create and unleash new machineries in more depth. So yeah, create more depth in that in more ways than one. So I'm thinking one Ground def deformation is going to be a thing. I'm pretty sure it's going to be base game. And when it says about stars being aligned, and yep, yeah, as you go down, there's things relating to construction contracts and that, I think. And again, I'll look at my notes as well. I've got so many notes to go through as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to have like things like construction contracts and that. So, similar to what the like, transport contracts we had in FS19. I also think FS32 has lacked in that is the transport contracts or some other variety of contracts. So maybe source being aligned or could be something to do with contract work with constructions and that. So things like Silver on Forest and that where you had to build a road coaster and that and build a boat and that. Two ones, I don't know. And lastly, in the fourth quarter of 25, we've got diving into a new map. And yeah, based on that, it's generic, so British generic, how you want to call it that. So finally, for once, we're going to have a Giants made British map in that. That is something I'm personally looking forward to see, especially they got very high standards to, to meet in that. Things like mainly Oxford David with Court Farm, Comson Farm, uh, uh, not, is it GB Mod in that who did um, Accident Park in that? on FS19 and 22 Nat. So many great models and that has done some awesome British maps over the years, over the last five, six years, whatever it's gonna be. And yeah, so Giants do have a bit of a Yeah, the ball has been marked in that, so I'm hoping we're gonna have some good British map from Giants and that. In terms of where I'm at to I don't know. We're looking at into late summer Nat getting to four Nat, so based on the image and that Little British College and that, so College and that, so maybe somewhere in the Cotswolds, which I very much doubt, but could be a possibility in that. Based on that alone, looks like you know the Loch Ness and that, <laughs> you know, a lock in Scotland. But yeah, to be honest, where the UK in that, I don't know. It could be an English map, could be a Welsh map for you know that, or a Scottish map. Again, I don't know. And then they could be an Irish map as well, so. It's going to be, again, it's a British or an Irish map. I'm leaning towards the British version of it because, again, the cottage, the cottage, the scenery and that, so the walls and that, that's my personal opinion and my personal, we would know. And also, yeah, it says by pre-order of all versions, so you get the Macdon pack with obviously the machines we've already talked through. But yeah, that is included with physical stuff and I think with the PlayStation that and Xbox and that console stuff and that. I'm going down and this is something I am looking forward to so farm in Asia there are buffaloes too so as I've got this screenshot upload hopefully he says want to embark on a new farming challenge in lush East Asian landscape filled with rice paddies do that, build an agricultural empire in North American environment with plenty of open space. Go ahead and join a scenic Central European location with green fields between ponds and rivers. Build a dream farm right here. Farm Sim 25 features three diverse environments for your farm ventures. So, for that information alone, so we're going to have a American map, a large map, and that's going to be a good thing. A 
European map. So again, happy to see a European map. Now when it says Central European, most likely it's going to be a German map of some sort. Possibly French map, but again, I'm going to be leaning towards like German map or even Italian. Italy's in Central Europe, so... But yeah, one well, we'll go into more in depth because there is so much info to go through here and that. One, the screenshot alone with the, you know, dad and that from FS22 and that, a girl and that. The race paddies and that, got the buffaloes, the awesome hills and that. And yeah, in terms of where in Asia, possibilities are China, which is my least preference for a number of reasons. Jap Japan, Japanese and that. Or, and this is my most likely fear in that, it's going to be a Philippines map because there is many pictures of the buffalo gnat and yeah just go through my notes gnat so based on what we've got from images gnat it looks like it's the carabos in, Filipi in filipino that is the calabal and there are a genetic succinct population of swamp type water buffaloes or bubbleus bubbleus caribou gnat i think that's the latin version of it from the philippines so yeah but i think this is going to be a philippine map Again, just because based on the buffaloes and that. But again, I could be wrong in that. Personally, I'm hoping it's Japan that as well. I would love to play on a Japanese map and that. And again, there's the whole China option that, which again, opens the market for giants and that. I could see that possibility of, you know, putting a Chinese map on the game, open the game up to the Chinese market, which again, quite lucrative that with over a billion people and that. But personally, I really hope it's not a Chinese map and that, but at the end of the day, let's shall, <laughs> let's shall see, shall we? So, again, going down that, for the bog below, it says, grow rice and flood the fields with water. So, from that alone, irrigation. I think this could be a thing in that. So, yeah, it says, grow two types of rice and spinach and other new crops. So, more than just new to obviously the rice and spinach we got from the train at rice as a primarily as spinach from the very ending of you know when I'm looking at the bowl rice and you know thinking what's paired with rice and that obviously chicken but obviously butchery may be a thing that but I think I think butchers and that is not gonna be in episode 25 just because of the age rating and that but anyway so yeah choose from well over 20 overall crops so that is interesting that and says yep yeah, mighty buffaloes and other animals join so cows sheep pigs chickens horses and other livestock and that so again more livestock and that so again i am very curious on what this could be in that so yeah cows sheep pigs chicken horses and that that's what we've got base game that on fs22 and that what could it be in that again there's so many options we can go through in that but yeah, at the end of the day, we'll wait to see that. And yeah, new production chains and construction missions. So yeah, this was about the, you know, t ground terraformation and construction contracts. Could be on the whole aspect of the game. So yeah, production chains is still going to be a thing. And construction missions. So yeah, that's the whole build the uh, road coasters and that. Build, you know, the boats and that. But yeah, to extend your business adventures so we're gonna go through the new machinery type so first of all we got the Clossarian here so yeah it says there's gonna be over 400 authentic machines and items from more than 150 international fent John Deere Kubota which is gonna be an interesting thing because Kubota in Asia does a lot of rice harvesting equipment and that so Good to see Kubota being more implemented in the game now. On top of that, obviously you got your Masseys, New Holland, Vultures and Maymore to engage in agriculture, forestry, animal husbandry, wherever you build your legacy single-handedly in or in cooperative multiplayer, you decide. So yeah, we've got the class area in there and go from there. We also got the case com combine harvester and that so again this is gonna be a newer version the header itself I'm not sure if that's the brand new case combine header at the moment in real life or is that 
paired with the Macdon header and that. Again, I'm not too sure on that. Hard to tell by the screenshot now, looking at the brands and that, the corners and that. At the end of the day, I don't know. We've got the vent, and if you look at the back of it, so obviously we've got the fence and that, which is normal and that. But we also got the a new cedar and that, and it's going to be a British brand cedar and that, and it's called the Emzuri. So M Z U R I, a UK base and that. They do a lot of seeding tanks and that, like sea spreaders and that. So good to see that. And yeah, again, I think that is end of the blog post. Blog post. So yeah, we've gone through. Yeah, release date is the 12th of November. All digital pre-orders will receive the Macdon bonus. Same with all the physical boxes. But yeah, also I did notice from the trailer itself and that. So I'm gonna start going through the actual trailer. So yep, spinach rice crops has been confirmed in that already in the blog post. I did attempt the whole possible butter option in that, but I'm not too sure on that. On top of that, there's a section of a selfie camera mode in the way, like Maybe it's going to be an improved camera system and that, or a, you know, something like in SnowRun and that, where you can go into photo mode. Or Formula 1 games, or pretty much any, pretty much any modern game, I think, in a way, that has some form of camera mode system. Again, as a content creator, that's going to make my life so much easier, especially on console, where you didn't have the options for, like, hide the HUD and that, so when you're taking your screenshots and that for your thumbnails and that, you've got to try to remove the whole UIs and that. It gets a bit tricky and that, again as a content creator for console and that, you use sort of learn tricks and that, how to get your screenshots and that, so where you crop it, or use AI and that to remove objects and items and that. Yeah, I think overall we're going to have a new, brand new photo mode system. Also from the train that, the, the girl in the train that, she's running a scrambler, a 125cc. And it says a Prilla on it, and do some research research on it. It's the brand new Aprilla SX125. Again, just for that. Also, yeah, so go from there on that. So, I think that's pretty much it for what I've got on that. The leaks were true that. So, on Friday, I think it was, we had a bunch of leaked photos. So, this was things like the Actually, I think it was mainly the Collector's Edition, pretty much, if I'm, if I remember correctly, it was the Collector's Edition, which, yeah, at the end of the day, was true in that. At the time, I was tempted on commenting on it publicly, making a video about it, but again, being a trans partner in that, that was put me on the great area in that, because usually, with a lot of things, we're going to be under NDA in that, so, for example, like with the FS25 being dropped in that, we knew ahead of time. FS25 was coming. I'm not gonna say when we were told in that, but at the end of the day, we were told before today in that of the 25th of June. But anyway, so my final thoughts on that, going through the trailer that. Yep, I know at the moment on YouTube, the trailer itself's got a 94.7% like to dislike ratio in that. I've seen the comments on Facebook, seen the comments on Discord in that. And yet again, I know people, some people are disappointed, I mean, they are getting that, in a way. But also, I don't get it. By the end of the day, I know, also, I can't remember, it doesn't say in the blog post, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be current gen only in that. Which is a good thing, personally, in that, because we do need to drop support for PlayStation 4. I think it's Xbox One. It's Microsoft, so I can't keep track of what you call their consoles. They start with Xbox 360, One, Series X, and S. So, to be honest, I don't know. But, anyways, besides from there and that. So, but yeah, this goes into. Also, yeah, again, I forgot to mention that. So, yeah, I'll put this up now. So, yeah, update to the fields and visuals. So, Giants will be releasing their brand new engine. So, Giants Engine 10.0 is going to be. So, at the moment, with FS22. We're on Giants Engine 9, so this is going to be like your Unity and all that, and oh, other game engines and that, that are used by gamers and that, not gamers, or game developers and that, to develop and model the game and that. But yeah, by the screenshot alone, we've got a more diverse in weather and that, so 
Yeah, information goes as following. Feel a deeper connection to your fields and a sure thanks to the general tech upgrades with improvements in graphics, physical based, the latest and modern friendly Giants Engine 10.0, including distance fog, enhanced shadows, dynamic weather effects, ground deformation, so yeah, ground deformation has been announced and more. The romantic life of a virtual farmer gets more immersive and atmospheric, so beautiful scenery that and again I think this is from the Asia map could be that like, looks a bit swampish in that but yeah the fog in that if that's if that's any close to it was going to be in game that so obviously there's some parts of the images I posted in that or not actual in game footage which yeah makes sense in that but things like the cloths the case the fence in that the uh what's it the mad don what mac don one yeah, all of that doesn't say not, I'll say it's not in-game footage and that, so if that is anything close to what the new game's going to be, that's going to be very good and, yeah, very impressive now. And to be honest, I think that's going to be it for this video, so as always, feel free to leave a like, comment down below and that. Are you excited for FS25 and that? If so, let me know. If not, let me know and let me know why now. Again, I want to know both sides at the end of the day. I know the whole new gen, current gen only. Technically, it's current gen. But yeah, I know the whole technicalities here and there, the drop in support and that. But at the end of the day, it's what the game's needed. The game needs to progress and go ahead and that. At the end of the day, Xbox is announcing a new refresh of the Series X and S. PlayStation 5 is going to get the PS4, PS5 Pro now at the end of the year and that. And we're about two or three years maybe away for PlayStation 6 and whatever Microsoft calls the next Xbox at the end of the day. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you found this helpful and informative. If so, feel free to leave that. Feel free to smash the like button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If not, subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's me from Evo Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.